Hello, this is Vampire. In this video, I would like to share with you my philosophy on tactical knives. More specifically for today, we are going to focus on tactical folders. When I look at these knives, I see them like different styles of martial arts. Judo, Wing Chun Kung Fu, Kenpo, Boxing, Taekwondo. And I frequently get asked which style is the best. But for me, it's not about that. It's about keeping an open mind so that you can benefit from any style. If you say, oh, Krav Maga doesn't work, then you've closed yourself to that style, therefore, it won't work for you. Now, I don't see a problem in having a preference, but if you take your opinion too seriously, then you start to become closed-minded, and you lose the ability to benefit from other knives. Being able to adapt to each knife, knowing how they function, this kind of flexibility will only benefit you no matter where you are in the world, what kind of knife is available to you. Being selfless like this goes along with what a famous martial artist once said. Be like water, my friend. Alright, so now let's take a look at the knives in front of you right here. Uh, I'm, this is not going to be a review. Um, I have done reviews for each one of these, so if you are interested in a specific model, please uh, check out that video. Alright, so first of all, I can say that every single one of these knives that you see here has been designed by a martial arts expert, so that's pretty cool. And uh, another thing to note is all of these knives, except for this one right here, is pretty much the handle at, at least is black. So. Black seems to be the color of choice for tactical knives. Uh, this one right here, you can see the clip is shiny and the blade is shiny. Uh, and all the other knives that you see, they do the non-reflective thing. They try to avoid shiny parts as much as possible. So that's one thing to point out. Uh, another thing that I can say is that all of these knives here, except for this one, has been designed to be used in a closed position. Now we can say that the karambit right here, because of the ring, uh, this can be used in the closed position. But really, the ring is the only thing that it has going for that specific purpose because gripping the knife like this, it's just not a comfortable uh, grab. So really, the ring is the, is the only thing. Uh, this knife right here is nice and big, so it does provide a, a good grip for that and then you can see the glass breaker tip right here and then you have this area right here uh, this and especially this area right there for striking purposes unfortunately uh, the blade edge when I press right here it goes down you see that it you can squeeze it and it has this squishy feeling which is uh, it kinda creeps me out it, it's unfortunate because everything else about it is seems to be really really solid for uh, using in a closed position. I don't know if when I grip it hard and I squeeze it like that if the blade edge is going to be banging against the inside dulling the blade. So that's uh, that's not cool. The other three right here, this one, this one, and this one, obviously in their own right are excellent in the closed position. Okay, uh, the next thing is I know I'm going to get asked, so let me just tell you the name for each knife. Okay, so this first one right here, this is the Reality Base Blade. It was designed by Jim Wagner and uh, made by Boker Plus. This one right here is the Lapu Lapu Corto, designed by Bram Frank, made by Churisker Messer, and it belongs in the Gunting family of knives. This one right here is the Fox Knives Karambit, uh, made by Fox Knives original design by Emerson and this one right here is the P001 bodyguard made by STI knives designed by Jeff Tenier and of course this one right here is the snag live blade folder designed by Louis Crudo made by Crudo knives alright so let me just say that these two knives right here are extra special to me and the reason being is because the amount of interaction that I've had with the CEO for these knives the designer uh, it, it's so nice when a company does not treat you just like a walking wallet or something like that when when they really do care and and they're really interested in how you feel
All right, so now let's talk about the blades. That's what you guys want to talk about probably. So uh, right here with the reality based blade, you can see just how pointy it is. So it's going to be very, very good for stabbing. And the edge right here that you can see, uh, this one's just going to make the stabbing even more like butter. The tip is prone to breaking off. So you could just imagine if you stab somebody with this thing and if you do hit bone, the tip's probably going to break off inside the guy, which is not a pretty picture. The uh, serrations right here on a slightly curved uh, blade edge region right here just for uh, tearing, ripping, and uh, wrapping around limbs. Now let's move on to the Lapu Lapu Corto. Uh, just taking a look at this blade shape, you can see that this is basically a miniature sword. Yes, it looks like a miniature sword, it performs like a miniature sword, so you can just understand uh, just some of the benefits there. Let's move on to the um, Fox Knives Karambit. Uh, of course, it's famous for this uh, hawksbill shaped blade. And you see the uh, curvature right there for wrapping around limbs and stuff. But really, with a karambit, you're going to be using a lot of the tip right there. The tip is very pointy, and that's going to be seeing a lot of action. Let's move on to the snag knife. And I think uh, I've explained before in a video that basically... From the front, this guy is dangerous. From the bottom, this guy is dangerous. And from the top, this guy is dangerous. This guy covers all angle, deadly from virtually every angle that you can think of. So now, let's move on to the P001. And um, I've had heard some complaints that basically the blade, is, the blade edge is not long enough. Well, this is area is going to provide safety. But on top of that, you can see just how wide this is like a chisel, like, like a real big chisel. It's a very wide blade if you measure it here to here. And when you stab somebody with that, it's going to cause a lot of damage.